Hi everyone, Dr. Joanne here. Welcome to my latest video, How to Heal Adrenal Fatigue Using Your Mind. So I'm a mind-body doctor and a mindset coach for women. And let's just get our disclaimer out of the way here. So if you are feeling ill, sick, not well, make sure you seek medical attention through your primary care physician. This video is not meant to be medical advice or treatment. But if you either know or have been suspecting that, that you are in adrenal fatigue or maybe you've been in adrenal fatigue in the past or you're just curious, let's go ahead and explore some of the mindset and emotional aspects that are related to adrenal fatigue. And knowing that if we don't clear these things up, sometimes our health doesn't turn around in the way that we would like it to. We kind of stall out. So let's explore some of the things, some of the mindset issues and patterns that are behind adrenal fatigue. And you go ahead and take your medications and supplements at the same time while you're figuring this out. So let me just give you a little bit of background. Back in my 40s, I went through adrenal fatigue three different times. The first time I would say was just kind of like it wasn't a mild case. It was, I would say it was more like a medium case. And what helped me at that time, before I knew any of this mindset work, what helped me at that time was Donna Eden's energy routine, just a simple energy routine to help reset my energy when I was experiencing stress. And it worked. I, I used it, um, faithfully for, gosh, several weeks, maybe even a few months. And it really did gradually help reset my energy. And I was, I was fine then. But um, at that time in my early 40s, I was starting my own chiropractic practice and wearing all the different hats and everything. It was, a, it was a lot of stress, a lot of work, all the things. And, you know, just so patterns of emotional stress will cause our bodies to go into burnout, exhaustion, and then body breakdown. And when you're looking at long-term emotional stress, the body has a pecking order. It'll hit our digestive system first. So maybe you'll have an upset tummy or maybe some gallbladder issues or constipation, diarrhea, you know, irritable bowel. You'll start to get some of those types of things. But then the next organs or systems to be affected tend to be the adrenals and then the thyroid and yada, yada, yada. So if you've been under a lot of emotional stress and you think you're in adrenal fatigue, or maybe you know you are, here are some of the questions that are helpful for you to connect the dots between what's the underlying emotional component or the belief system or the the mental thought pattern behind adrenal fatigue so i want you to just you know be very kind to yourself and ask you these you ask yourself these types of questions am i running on energy that i don't have am i just go, 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 do, 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 doing all the things. And I really don't have the energy. I might have had the energy at one point, but now I feel like I'm just running on fumes. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. Nothing's ever changing. And then we start to get into these patterns of belief, like what's the use? What's the point? I'm doing all this work, all these things, nothing ever changes. So kind of just see if you resonate with any of these questions or statements or comments, it'll help you connect the dots. So again, you just kind of get to this point where it's like this, um, it feels like defeat, like no matter what I try, nothing's working, everything's difficult. And you're just under this constant pressure, pressure to do, or pressure to prove yourself, prove your worth. So you're just always doing your go, 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 do, do, do. And you probably have started to consume more caffeine, maybe more coffee, maybe more energy drinks, maybe more soda, whatever it is, but you're running on fumes. So you're replacing your energy source with something that you're drinking, or maybe you're taking some extra drugs or something. 
but just ask yourself all of these questions. And you're probably not sleeping well either. There's a lot of probably some mental chatter, like all of these to-do lists, all of these things that you have to do, and what if I don't get this done, and how's this going to work? So your mind maybe is just not shutting off or shutting down at night so that you can get some sleep. These are all mental patterns, and I should make a note here too, if if you are having trouble sleeping and you're you're one of these people that you just can't turn off your brain. There's always something that you're thinking about or worrying about. I do have a mini course that's available on my website at any time. Just go to the go to my website, drjoannetully.com, and if you click on the tab for free or low cost trainings, there is a course in there called Learn How to Sleep Better. It'll help give you some mindset hacks and, and go through your thought process. But sleep is a big thing. You're going to have to learn to reset your energy, um, get better sleep, stop running on all the caffeine. And here's the big one that I, that I had to learn. When I finally did pull myself out of adrenal fatigue, um, you know, the second time I was in severe adrenal fatigue and the third time as well, too. But I tried all the supplements. I did all the, the testing. Um, you know, my body wasn't making anything. Um, I had just flatlined, basically. And then I ended up finding out I had Lyme disease um, and a bunch of other things, too. So it was a whole journey for me. But the adrenal fatigue definitely put me into the state of burnout, exhaustion, and then my body just broke down after that point, became susceptible to bugs, and I just couldn't quite turn it around until I started doing mindset work. And so I want to bring out this point too. What I've learned along the way um, is human design is another really valuable tool. Most of my tools are based on the teachings of A Course in Miracles, but human design gives us some other tools to help us with our energy. It helps teach us how to use our energy in the best way, like how we're designed to use our energy to keep you from going into burnout. And so my reasons, my pressure to prove myself, my pressure to do, go, 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 do, 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 that was all in my human design chart. And if somebody would have helped point that out to me years ago, maybe I would have saved myself all of that trouble. But anyway, hopefully this can help save you from some trouble as well too. So if you're if you are resonating with any of those topics, you know, the pressure to do, the pressure to prove yourself, and then you end up thinking like, what's the point? What's the use? Everything's difficult. Nothing's working out. And you're just not sleeping. If you've got all of those patterns as well, too, human design, a human design blueprint can really, really help you, help guide you through those things and, and to help you make better decisions and to help you see your patterns, your predictable patterns in how you go into burnout and what you can do instead to help seal your energy. We all should have plenty of energy to do the things that we love to do that bring us joy. And when we are really in touch with our inner guidance system, we know what's right for us. We're making our best decisions. We know when we have the energy for something and when it's time to say no. And all of those things are really, really important. And then what I teach in my, um, in my other programs that are based on A Course in Miracles, there we have to go through all of the mindset issues, the belief things. So we go through what are our triggers, what are our belief systems, and, and start moving through all of those. But the basic roadmap to help get you out of adrenal fatigue is... You've got to take a look. Is is this just an energy thing? Did you just go into burnout and exhaustion and, and now you're experiencing some body breakdown? Is it just an energy thing? And you just need maybe a human design blueprint to help guide you in how to use your energy better. Maybe it's deeper than that. For me, it was deeper than that because I also had a lot of patterns of anger and resentment and a lot of old wounds I needed to heal. So I needed to do all of that work as well to help me heal from all the things. So mindset work is really, really getting to know yourself, know your predictable patterns, know your triggers, 
all of those things and know how to use your energy in the best way for you. And that's an individual thing. So it's learning all of those skills, all of those tools that no one ever teaches us. So healing from anything, especially adrenal fatigue or anything else, you've got to get your energy back. You've got to figure out what are the things, what are the belief systems that you have that are weighing you down, bogging you down? What are your predictable patterns in stress? You've got to really learn all of those things and really own, yep, this is what I do. This is what I do. And then you start getting tools to unravel it all, unlearn all of those conditioned responses and learn something better. Create new stories for yourself and shift into a better, just a better place overall. And it's easier than you think. It's just, you got to think about the long game. You're not going to probably heal in just a couple of weeks. It's, it's the long game. It's like, where will you be three months from now, six months from now, a year from now? Will you be in such a better spot that you recognize immediately, Hey, that's draining my energy. And that's a warning sign. That's information that I need to do something or think about something in a different way. I need to honor my own style, or is there a belief pattern that's coming up that I need to question? It's all these things like that. So hopefully that gave you something to think about in a different way as you are healing yourself from ad adrenal fatigue. If this was helpful, make sure that you like the video, um, leave me a comment if you like. And again, if you're needing some help, um, go to my website, drjoannetully.com. If you are curious about working with me, schedule a breakthrough session. Um, that's where I give out all my great coupons. Um, plus you'll get some great information. Even if you decide not to work with me, you'll come away with a lot of great information. So. Make sure you check out my other YouTube videos too. Something in there is going to appeal to you. Check out my webinars on my website, drjoannetully.com. And I will see you in the next video.